All right, YouTube. This was a fucking project and a half, but I figured it out. If you are looking for a way to fix your Mossberg 590 feeding issues, I figured it out. And this is a no bullshit assessment. It had nothing to do with this. All right, and this is your... Your shelf stop. It had everything to do with this motherfucker, which is your shell interrupter. All right. So I, this is going to be a lengthy video because I want to show you guys exactly what the fuck happened and um, explain why this was a culprit, not the fucking spring, not the fucking shell stop, not the fucking magic unicorns inside your trigger house. No, none of that bullshit. This is a no shit legit reason why your fucking shotgun was not feeding okay so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you bye right now so this fucking thing focus son of a bitch focus focus are you gonna fucking focus okay you can see where i shaved off a little sum right there okay that was pointy as a fuck okay now i didn't shave off a lot i shaved off very little because it still has a job to do but it was doing its job too well okay and what it was doing is, let's see, shot show right here. Okay. You could see it was gouging into shells. This is just um, target load. Um, I'm trying to see on the brass part where it was really going it up. There's another spot where it was like literally gouging the shit out of it. So I trimmed off enough. Fucking son of a bitch. I trimmed off enough, oh my god, to where it could still do its job, but yet it will let any shell go through. So, the Winchesters didn't need that modification. They just went straight through, but I'm cheap as shit. So, I got these, um, uh, Cellier and Bleu fucking double up buck shells from, uh, LuckyGunner.com. I got, like, 250 of them for, like, 80 bucks. It's cheap as shit. They were not feeding at all. I had to unfuck the shotgun. This is a beautiful shotgun. I bought it just like this. It said it was used, but there was never a fucking round fired through it. The guy just worked on it and said, fuck it. Sold it back to the Heritage Guild in Easton. And uh, my ex-girlfriend and I picked it up. Yes, my ex-girlfriend and I are whatever. Long story. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to reassemble this. Um, and show you guys exactly what the fuck happened, alright? Alright, let's try this. This is gonna fucking suck, but whatever. Oh, whore. Okay, is this thing still plugged in? Yeah, this is still plugged in, so I'm not gonna pull that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that. This, this, this. Okay, so you take your little guy right here. This is your shell stop. This shit is so hard with one hand, so please forgive me. I don't have any high tech equipment. I'm videotaping this off of a, uh, I'm recording this off of a uh, Note 8. So we got that in there. I'm gonna take your shell interrupter. This is way fucking harder to do with one hand. Holy black Jesus, will you fucking go in the slot? All right, there we go. Okay, bet. Okay. And now, as everyone knows who has these fucking guns, this is like the magicness. So actually, hold on a second. Put you on. Oh, shit. Uh, no, that ain't gonna work. Alright, look at the roof for a second. I'm not doing anything that you guys didn't see me do already. I'm just trying to put this fucking uh, trigger housing back together or back in the gun. 
which as we all know, can be a bitch, as I thought it's gonna be a bitch. Okay, cool. So, the trigger housing is back in, okay? Now, so, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I meant by how these shells would not load through here, okay? So I'm gonna throw one in. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, doop. Okay. Let's see. All right, where is it? I might mean, be too bright. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this off. When you see me pump the gun, you're gonna see the shell interrupter go right behind here. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. Now watch the shell interrupter go right behind the shell. Nice and slow. Everything's gonna be nice and slow. See how it goes in behind that right there? Now before, it was pointy as hell. Okay, it was pointy and it was stabbing into the shell. So it was, oh god damn, that really sucked. So what it was doing, it was putting pressure on the side of the shell and moving it to this side of the, the um, whatever, the gun. And it would like literally hold it there, okay? And uh, that's what was holding it from popping out of the magazine tube. Now remember, these are piece of shit. Salier and bleu, fucking cheapest shells you can fucking get, low brass, nothing special, right? So once again, I'm going to do it nice and slow and show you guys how she'll come out now. Still going, elevators going to start going up. Okay, here goes the slow, uh, shell stop. And there it goes. And it comes out flawlessly every time, dude. Not even fucking joking. Okay, so you're probably thinking, oh, you're a fucking idiot. Now you can't load more than one round because you fucked up the whole, um, the shell interrupter. Now it's now it's not going to stop other shells from coming out. Stand the fuck by and watch this. We're going to throw in a handful of shells now. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god, this is really not working right <laughs> Yeah, this is way harder to do with one hand. Okay, just fucking stand still, dude. Okay, so... That one in. That one in. So this one in. Oh, and here's an even better example of what that fucking claw was doing. Look at this motherfucker. All the way from the brass, all the way up the side of the shell. That's what it was fucking doing before. And this is one of the shells that, um, when I first got the gun, I was trying to use. So I'm actually not going to use it for this purpose because I don't want it to rip open. Okay. Okay, good. Still, still stuck in there. So my phone's at 5%. Okay. So. Here we go. Oh. Thing going. Okay. So that's now we'll check it out. What you're not what you're probably thinking is, oh my god, he stripped too much of it. It's gonna double feed. Watch. Nice and slow. And boop. There goes one. Okay. Now watch. Bring her home. Number two is ready to go. Here we go. Boop. There goes number two. And I'm just going to show you guys three shells. Okay, I'm just bringing it loose. Here comes number three. Bam. Piece of shit shells, man. And they fucking work. You could throw anything through here. Before, I could only throw Winchester. And I'm going to throw Winchester in right now. Just to show you guys. Winchester, um... Just some target load shit. Some low brass crap shit from Walmart. 
20 bucks for a hundred of them. Okay, now this is to show you that, and there's still that cellier and below crap uh, in the tube, but this is before. So it's pretty much showing, hey, different types of ammo can get sent through and it still won't double feed. All right, so. Oh, the trigger housing group almost popped out because I don't have the fucking pin in there, but whatever. So here we go. This is Winchester now, my little Winchester guy. See, slipped right behind there. Slipped right in there. Here we go. Boom. Pop his ass out. Got him all the way forward. Okay. Slid behind there. Boom. Money money in the fucking bank man it is two in the morning i'm not even fucking joking i was up for days had this gun for four days trying to figure out why the fuck is not loading certain amount of shells or certain shells and i finally fucking figured out everyone was like it's the spring it's the, the stop it's it's fuck your face it's all kinds of shit and i was like nah now we're gonna figure this shit out today so two in the morning, I'm here, busting this shit out, money in the bank. And this is upside down. Mm. And look at that, empty mag tube, stock spring and everything, served up these piece of shit shells. Served up these Winchester shells. I had some high brass shells upstairs. I had all kinds of shit. It works now. That is a no shit fix for this gun. I shit you not. I didn't change the spring or nothing. I literally just used common sense. I used this file. Literally went one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Took off like a millimeter, millimeter and a half. Out of nowhere, your gun's cock lock ready to rock. Guys, I really hope this fucking helps you. I'm praying it helps you because I hate when you buy something. We bought this for $525 out of nowhere. It's gorgeous. It looks amazing. And the fucking thing wouldn't feed right. Pain in the fucking dick. Is it out? Yep, that was out. Okay, cool. Um, pain in the ass. Pain in the ass didn't want to work. It got me so fucking frustrated. I'm prior service Marine, so I want all my guns to be squared away. Now this is, hopefully I helped you guys out. Uh, leave a comment below. I want your guys' input on this. This is something that I have not found anywhere on YouTube or nothing. So please leave your fucking comments, anything, your gripes, anything towards this gun. If you have another problem with it, I will unfuck it. I don't care. So good night, guys. I'm going to fucking bed and going, you know, balls deep.